Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Cam back again with another video and you see the title. Your boy did it again. I dropped another nuke back to back days dropping a nuke. Um playing uplink here on Combine using my favorite gun in the game, the VMP submachine gun. Quick draw grip, stock, same setup as always. But yeah, I dropped another nuke on this map. These kids were there were some decent players in this lobby, but I was just playing the map super smart and I wasn't being crazy. I mean there was a you'll see I die a few times. I think I go 53 and 4 maybe in this map i don't remember exactly i'll show it at the end of the game but there are a few times where i just run out and just i'm just hunting for kills i wasn't really i mean most of the time when i play i'm not going for nukes exactly i just play to get a lot of kills and then if i end up getting a nuke or get close and then i'll play for it but i mean right now i'm not playing for it i'm just trying not to die i'm trying to get streaks i'm trying to get a lot of kills but I start off super slow. I mean, I can't get anything going. I can't get kills. I keep getting hit markers, assists. I die right here by somebody I jump right over. Get one bursted right there in the back, which is not a big deal. But then I come back. But as you can see, there's a kid on my team. He's 9-0. So, I mean, he's pretty much destroying these kids on his own. But I end up getting more kills than him, higher KD than him. So, uh, and I actually play the objective right here. Y'all be proud of me. I run and throw the thing through the portal. And they don't even kill me, so that's hype. But turn around and try to pick up that guy. I see that guy shooting down there. I know I'm going to lose that gunfight, so I'm not even going to try it. Uh, we're going to run back to mid right here. I see him running, and I'm going to chase him. And bad idea, don't chase, ever. That's one thing about Call of Duty. Just don't chase somebody. More times than not, it's going to end up bad for you. So, um, Yeah, while you're watching this nuke, I thought I might give you all some tips and tricks that I use to play this game better. As you can see me miss every bullet right there. But um see me play I thought this guy was gonna run around the wall. That's why I didn't shoot him shoot him yet. But some tips and tricks that I use to be successful in this game, be better at Call of Duty, be better at any Call of Duty. I mean not necessarily just this game. I am better at this game than any of the other ones as you could probably tell by the gameplays. I didn't know that was my team or I thought that was my teammate, that's why I barely shot at him, then I realized, oh I'm getting hit markers. That was the worst grab spike of all time, but I still kill this guy. So, here this guy with the shotgun, cancel reload, pick him up. But yeah, my first tip on this game is a lot of people think jetpacks, oh, fast pace, you have to play fast. And that's not true. Like, you'll see me, I'll see right here. I'm just sitting here. I see him on the mini map all around me. There's no reason for me to run up in there just to try to kill him immediately and then end up dying. I mean, there, it's pointless. It doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't do anything for your team. I mean, as you can see in the bottom right, I'm 340 off my wraith, which isn't that close is still four kills away but i mean i know i can get four kills without dying if i play it right so i just like to play slow i see them behind me i'm not gonna run out and try to get them i pre-aim that corner and just wait for somebody to come around because i know they're there so that's the biggest tip i would say that you can have in call of duty is most people just try to play too fast and you just have to play slow it'll help you out in the end you'll get higher kd gameplays you'll get more kills just stuff like that. You'll get your streaks. And in a game like this, Black Ops 3, where the Wraith and the Raps, I mean, those are just two really good streaks. They'll get you a lot of kills. You'll see them. I pick them up here. I think I die right here, maybe. I don't even think I actually get them. Oh, no, I gun this guy from cross map. But So there's the Merciless medal right there. That's a 10 kill streak. So even at this point, I'm – or a 10 gun streak. At this point, I'm not even thinking nuke. I'm just trying to get my streaks. I'm 40 off my Raps. I think I – I know I don't get my wraps at one point. This might be it right here. I don't remember. But, yeah, so I'm sitting here waiting, just trying to get somebody to come out this door so I can get my wraps. But I decide to push up, and I grab spike these two guys, pick up. Okay, I do pick up my wraps right here. So I'm assuming this is the nuclear streak. I don't remember if I die again, but there's the ruthless at the 15, so I'm halfway there to the nuke. I don't know what that guy was doing, but I just turn and obliterate this guy. Um... Yeah, if you watch my gameplays, enough of them on this game, you'll know that I like to jump a lot. I like to, I have a scuff controller, so it's kind of quote unquote an unfair advantage, but as a controller, if you don't know, it has paddles on the back of it, and the paddles allow me to, I can use my left hand in the left paddle to jump. It's programmed to the X button, which allows me to jump, and so I don't have to take my right thumb off the right stick so I can still jump and aim at the same time. Luckily, that guy had a sniper. He 100% would have killed me. But, um, yeah, so I can jump and aim at the same time, which is just a huge advantage in this game. You'll see, I mean, 
height advantage in this game is everything. But yeah, I'm 23 and two right now. This guy on my team has still got more kills than me. End of the first half, uh, 23 and two. I think I'm like 18 kills to the new, so I need like 12 more. So at this point, I'm um, I'm thinking it. I know I can get it. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. And so I'm gonna stick with the VMP in the second half. Just try to maneuver the map smartly. I'm not gonna call in my streaks until I actually get the nuke, but Right here, this smoking guns two two zero two guy. He ends up getting wraps as well, and he calls him in. And I was kind of bummed at first because I was like, "All right, they're gonna steal all my kills. I'm not gonna be able to get this nuke. I'm not gonna be able to hear anything. I'm gonna get shot in the back. Something yada yada yada, whatever." But he calls in the hater too, which was huge. And you can see it right there. I can see exactly where they are. I don't know why I don't use hater that much. Like I said, I'm not really ever going for nuclears. I'm just trying to get a lot of kills because it's more entertaining. But then me using, yeah, I picked this guy up right here, but it's more entertaining than me using, you know, UAV counter, UAV hater, just going for nukes every game and playing slow until I get it. I mean, I could probably drop a nuke every other game if I really tried for it, but I don't. I mean, I'm just, I'm here to get a lot of kills. I'm going to run at you. I'm going to rush. I, that's just the way I like to play. Um, I love to use SMGs, submachine guns. I mean, <clears throat> more likely, that if I'm not using... The only ARs in this game I really use are the Man of War, the M8, and the KVK. And I haven't used any of them in a while. That guy jumped right over me and I didn't even look at him. So, luckily he didn't turn around and kill me. <clears throat> but yeah, as you can see, I don't know where to go. I didn't even see that guy. But, thankfully, I thought that guy was shooting at me. So, I slid behind him and then I realized he wasn't. So, I knew it was a free kill. So, I'm just going to jump over. I pick up the Brutal Metal right there. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh, alright, I'm five away. I got this. This is easy. I just can't die so i called in my wraps i didn't call in the wraith yet because i wanted to have a few more kills but i didn't want this other guy to call in more wraps because if they were going to be on the field i wanted to get my kills for him but you'll see these are the most stressful five kills of my life i can't find anybody i end up getting shot in the back once or twice and i get away and it's just it was killing me i was see right there i get hit by the scythe but it, thankfully he doesn't kill me but um yeah i was sitting in a party chat with my friend alex and we were just sitting there talking and I was just playing the game. I mean, I was just playing by myself, just trying to just have fun. I mean, I haven't played this game that much lately. So once I got that other one that y'all saw the other day with the M8, I just wanted to pick it up and just play some more. So I'm sitting there talking to him, and at this point I'm like, bro, I'm four off. I'm freaking out. And I'm like, dude, I can get this. I know I can. And so I just keep going. Right now I'm 38-2. and two, but So 38-2, and two, real close to it. You can see how I'm playing. I'm playing so scared. I just I want to get this nuke so bad. Um, I'm sitting here listening right here to see if I hear anybody. I didn't, so I knew they weren't around me. Thankfully, this kid has no thumbs, and he wasn't looking at me. So I push in here, pull up quicker. Thank God, get the kill with the VMP. Saw the stun. I thought it was somebody, but it was just a teammate stun. So uh, it flips the spawn, so I'm going to push back this way. As you can see, I don't run down the center of the map. I go to the outside. I get at a... I get an advantage. There's the nuke right there. You can see the metal right there. Pick him up, too, for the unstoppable. I think I die like one or two kills later. But I was in the party chat. I was freaking out. I was like, dude, I got it. I got it. I got it. And I was just hype. I was so happy to get another one. But, yeah, uh, that's two in two days. Right here, I was like, all right, I'm dead. I knew I was dead. Pick him up. Try to jump and get that guy, but there was two. I just There was no way I was getting out of that alive. But, yeah, I spawn in calling the wraith i see here that guy i heard him run by me but he didn't see me and i got caught in a reload right there which was bad but i don't think i die again so yeah that's gonna be the new guys i hope y'all enjoyed that i've been getting them here a lot lately it's just cool to be able to record it and share it with y'all y'all see my progress on the game and hopefully you can give me some feedback what you think i could have done better maybe to get a longer gun streak not just the nuke and I mean, my biggest problem is I always die right after I get the nuke. Not right after, but, I mean, I don't ever get, like, I always get so hyped that I just quit playing smart. I'm like, oh, I got the nuke. Like, I don't care anymore. But, I mean, that's not the way to do it. But if y'all see anything in this gameplay that I did that y'all think I could have done better or, I mean, just any advice or anything, thank God for the scuff right there. Jump back and destroyed that guy. But, yeah, the game ends right there, guys. I went 54 and 4. Uh, shout out to this smoking guns guy. He went 58 to 11. Really good score. Uh, 
yeah, so that's the nuke, guys. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.